friends, it's Lisa, and today I'd like to share with you the last items that I bought at Yankee Candle semi-annual sale. I bought these items over the last two weeks of the sale, and some of the items came from my local store, and some of them came from online. I had a real game changer the last two weeks of the sale when I found out that the sales associates in the store can order things for me online and have them sent to me at home and I won't pay shipping charges even if it's a five dollar item and that's all I want online. They'll order it for me and have it sent to me. No shipping charge. The only thing that they cannot do this with is online exclusives. But it was a real game changer for me because all throughout the sale there have been little things that pop up online that I want that I don't that I end up not getting because of the shipping charges or, you know, and I just don't want to place a $100 order. So it's a game changer. So let me show you some of the things that I bought. My first thing that I had the sales associate order for me online was this Volta portal holder. Oops. <laughs> and I got two of them. I have the perfect spots for them in my house. You also see five under the palm votives in here. I also got those during the sale and a lot of voltips so that I could refill this. The one bad negative thing that about these, and I knew this before buying it because of the reviews online, is that these glasses are glued to the base. So I cannot take the glasses out. But this only ended up costing me, I want to say $6. There was 75% off and then an additional 10% off. So... I think that was a deal so I went ahead and I got two of them and I have the perfect spots for these and because I got those two voltive holders I needed a lot of voltives because before this I'd only bought I went through my voltives and I might have had two or three of some sense but most sense I just had just one so that meant I needed five matching voltives or ten matching voltives so I'll show you. I got six whoopie pies and six coconut or black coconut. And I got a dozen cozy sweaters. I got these at my store, but uh, put them in this case. Let's see. Here's another under the palm one, a uh, random one. Let's see. I got summer scoop a Golden Sands, and a Paradise Spice. Those were just random ones that I got. And then, now I'm using some Victoria's Secret boxes to hold the rest of my votives. If I don't have spots in one of these plastic containers, this is what I'm using. Um, they held perfume sets that I bought from Victoria's Secret, the semi-annual sale. They're nice, sturdy boxes. So, let's see. Three. I got, it looks like, seven of these Comfort Cardamom. And then I got Cedar Wood. Uh, it looks like seven of these Cedar Woods. And eight more black coconuts. So eight with the other six brings me to 14. And then let's see. Eight of these Paradise Spice, which I love Paradise Spice. So that's how I store those. Here's another box. Okay. Eight of these red berry and cedar. Six firesides. I believe eight sea coral. And six happy springs. And some of these, like, 
I honestly did not, I went partially by scent when I was selecting my votives, but I also went by color, you know, because my decor is natural earth tones and lilacs and pinks, depending, you know, if, if I were going to do a spring type of thing or Easter thing, then I wouldn't mind having those color of votives in there. But I was looking at the seasons that were coming up, you know, um, I've got fall and Christmas and some summer, but I do like more neutral colors like greens. And so I chose my votives based upon colors and scents. I consider both things. So that is why you saw the scents that I chose. Now, I bought a lot of um, accessories, a lot more accessories. Oh, actually, I got some more that I need to show you. I got a bunch of tarts here. I've got four cranberry zest, a chocolate truffle, treehouse memories, under the palms, coconut bay, paradise spice, beech wood, um, morning blossom, and then I have a lone black coconut uh, votive, which I guess brings me up to 15 black coconut votives. And then I have six Coconut Bay votives there. Okay. So now on to my accessories. I got these two pumpkins. And they have this opening in the back to put a votive. Or it's really made for tea lights. And I got two of these. These were like $4.99 and they were so cute. I have bought a similar pumpkin at TJ Maxx a year or two ago and at TJ Maxx their discount of price was nine dollars so I love those let's see I got just this little votive holder if I remember right it was like 60% off and an additional 10% off originally four dollars so I paid like a dollar fifty for this I got a lot of fall stuff I got these two little turkey votive holders. Um, they're generally not my usual style, but they were just like $2 each. and So I couldn't pass it up as a decoration. Now I got these two votive holders. These were 60% off and an, addition, uh, an additional 10% off. These I bought because I don't think I showed you, but I do have the saucer and shade that matches this set. It's in my uh, guest bedroom. So I wanted those. I got I got a lot of fall things that are so cute. These two crackle tea light holders. Now I also this shade I had purchased before the actual semi-annual sale started, like maybe a month before. You didn't see it. I didn't have my YouTube channel, so um, you didn't see some of the accessories that I bought then. But I bought this shade. I did not know it had a matching plate. This matching plate was in my store at 75% off, an additional 10% off. It's going to look very cute on a jar. Now, I picked up these two things at different times. They are the Pumpkin Crackle Tray and the Pumpkin Crackle Jar Shade. Uh, I, um, I picked them up at different times, and I know that one of them was in the 50% off section. I had both of these sent to my store. And um, one of them was in the 50% off section and they ordered it for me, then they get a printout. And they take that printout to the register and they key in the item numbers and they charge me in the store. I actually pay in the store and they're shipped to my home for free. When she keyed in the item numbers, it rang up some, one of the items, one of these rang up 75% off. And I went, oh. Because if it were in the store, it would have been 75% off. And that is the price she, she noticed it and she went, hmm, 
but she charged me the 75% off. I don't know if that's what they normally do, but if I had not spent so much money earlier in the sale, I would have tested out my theory because I'm thinking that well, there were lots of items online in the 50% off section that I think would have been 75% off in my store, such as the sweater basket. I actually bought a sweater basket in the store 75% off. So I'm thinking if I had my sales associate order it for me and she put it in the item number, it would bring up 75% off. So I wanted to test it, but I didn't have more money to spend. I didn't want to return things that you know, that I didn't have to, so I didn't test out my theory, but I think that that is the case. So maybe I'll take advantage of that next semi-annual sale. So other things that I bought include a mixology bolt of holder. Now this is nasty. I have not cleaned it. Okay. You see that, uh, the, I, used it one time and my voltives I had to blow them out because I was leaving and uh, they had a little bit left probably like maybe one more hour of burning and I relit them when I got home and of course it threw some soup but um, anyway I haven't cleaned it really like it because I could put three voltives of the same scent in here get a nice strong throw for a bedroom or I can do a mixture like I just did um, Mm, campfire treat, black coconut, and paradise spice. It was a good combination. So, but I, I I look forward to having some fun with this. I also got this tart burner because I have one exactly like this, but that one could not be it in two places at the same time, and I moved it from our master bathroom to our main living area. And my husband commented that, why did you move that? Because he really liked it. So I got another one to go back to our master bathroom. Then uh, I did get some wax things. I got Island Spa candle and white Christmas candle. These were both, uh, they were two for $24. And, um, and I used a voucher. And of course, the day after I bought these, I saw online white Christmas went to 75% off. I had gone to my store at lunchtime. I didn't see any. I'm really bummed. I really like the scent. It's nice, piney, but it's a, it's not, um, it's clean, crisp. It's got something mixed in with the pine. I don't know what, but I really like the scent. And I really think it would throw well. I would have bought a bunch of them at 75% off. Island Spa. Island Spa smells like lemon pledge to me. It did to my husband too. He likes this scent, so um, he thought that he would like it, so I got that. I also got this three wick caramelized sugar. This was in the 75% off section with another 10% off, and I used a voucher for it. So that was real cheap. I got these two Bonaire Bay Beach candles. Um, I've been burning one and it smells like sun and sand. My husband really liked the decoration on the jars. He gives this one his thumbs up. I like the smell. I like the color. They had the whole collection there. They had um, these. They had um, a pink colored one and a blue colored one. I thought the blue colored one was light. The pink was a, like a vanilla musky smell, and I wish I would have gotten those. I wish I would have gotten those. Um, let's see, what else did I get? I got a bunch of tarts, and I cannot tell you which ones I got because I got, I just put them away when I got home. So like the Voltives I showed you, I probably actually even got more Voltives, but I've mixed them in with stuff. My tarts, I definitely mixed in with stuff. So I'm not even going to guess as to which ones I got. I'm just going to show you my how I store them. And you can actually uh, see these are all my tarts and melts. So uh, my plan is, is to go through these in by, or the majority of them by the next semi-annual sale. So those are... 
they are stored in another one of my Victoria's Secret boxes, like this. And um, so those were my jars and melts. My big project coming up is to sort of take a look at all my candles and figure out which combinations are good burning together. So, um, you know, how, how I can mix them. For example, I was burning Bonaire Beach in a guest bedroom and I had sun and sand in the jar, jar melt, you know, in a warmer. And then I was burning Bath and Body Works suntan and those all go together. They're sort of all beachy type things. So I want to sort of get um, combinations that I can burn together. So that's my next big project. But I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye!